Yes, I reckon that you have been before, yeah. Well, it'll be smell, hasn't it? This is the Church of St. Bede. I know, St. Bede. This is where the greatest Englishman, the greatest man in the history of England, lived and worked and wrote all his great scholarly works, all to do with Jesus, of course. And Bede was a great disciple of Jesus. And personally speaking, I think that Bede was actually a reincarnation of St. John the Apostle. Because, as you know, Jesus said that St. John will never die until he comes back again. And I believe that St. John comes back in many different forms over the centuries. And my belief is that Bede is one of these great, is, is a, a resurrected St. John. And that is the prayer of St. Bede. St. Bede the Venerable. That's, that's Bede. A creation of Bede. And as you see in this church in Jarrow, which was once a Catholic church, a Catholic monastery, but is now bereft of beautiful decor, like it should be in the traditional Catholic manner. But no great amount of pictures or art or decoration. Even the cross up there on the altar doesn't have the figure of Jesus in, the, in, in Protestant ideology. They don't like to see the, the cross of Jesus or to see Jesus on the cross. They don't even like They don't like pictures of Jesus because that's the Protestant way of thinking. And this is the sadness of the Church of England. There is a few pictures, but very discreet. And these glasses up here these glasses were created by glassmakers that Benedict, St. Benedict Biscoff brought from France. And these are original glasses in this, in this monastery. And this is the original part of the monastery that's left from the year 700. A lot of the monastery was destroyed by the Vikings when they came in later years. And as you can see, the Princess of Wales, Princess Diana, was here. God rest her soul, because I believe that she was a Catholic, Princess Diana. And I'll just kneel down here for a few seconds in front of the altar. <laughs> 